can't lie. I've heard the opening of season two because I'm a day late. I know that is pretty fire, but I'm just not sure it's gonna be able to top that first season. You know, it's like na 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 na. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius, back at it again with Promise Neverland Season 2, Episode 1. Now, before we get into this, I do just want to get this out of the way real quick. With certain shows that are published or licensed by Aniplex, because Aniplex is under Sony, if you guys didn't know, Sony Music Japan, normally when it comes to copyright on YouTube, the biggest thing we have to deal with is blocks, worst case scenario, strikes, whereas blocks just make it so none of you guys can see it, no, no harm on the channel or anything like that, mainly it will just delete it, re-edit it, re-render it, upload it again, see if it works, which it does usually most of the time. But when it comes to strikes, that is a whole nother ball game because it, three of them, your channel's gone. If you get the three of them in consecutive, because it can take up to three months to lose one of them. So if you get three of them while you are dealing with another one that could have been a month ago, then boom, you can't upload while it's just a whole ordeal. And if you guys don't know, Aniplex and or Sony are the worst when it comes to copyright strikes. There are some people who, to get around that, have done timers, have done other things to distort audio and stuff like that, because it's mainly audio that gets the strikes going. But it's, a lot of the times it's manual by them. So they just go in there and they just don't like, they just have a different concept of copyright than us. So they just don't like that the content's being used, so they'll manually put it. So to play it safe, because I've already had a channel deleted and I do not want to go through that again, I'm going to be doing a redirect for this one. A lot of the other shows, no, all the other shows pretty much are going to be okay. But if, for the, those of you who don't know, I personally have had upwards of 10 strikes on my old channel and this one from Sony Music Japan, the only company that has ever sent me a copyright strike. And it's been scary. I've had a channel deleted. It is not fun. So with that being said, this is going to be a redirect. But the first and last episode of every season, the full length, which is normally only available on Patreon, is available to all you guys for free. So sorry about that little ramble. But hopefully that's like the silver lining in this. You do have to click the description. It is only one extra step. Just click that top link. Click that. Watch the full length if you want. Watch the highlights if you want. Come back here. It sucks because I'm definitely not going to get nearly the watch time or the ad revenue from this one. I'm going to get literally a fraction because of it. It is crazy. Um, but so if you guys could, even if you don't watch the review, if you guys could leave a like, maybe just leave it auto playing in the background until it's done, then close out of it. Anything you, any little thing you guys do really helps me a lot because I would, I, I definitely don't want to do redirects guys, but timers would also be the same thing. And I would like you guys to be able to watch it. I think the majority of people would want to be able to see the episode, at least, you know, the high, you know, and stuff like that. So I don't know. It's just a tricky situation. I'm just going to play it safe, but I think, I thank you guys for your patience and you guys who are able to stick with me and just watch it for what, no matter what format I put it in, you know, with that being said, I'm also working on re-uploading a lot of the old things that have been taken down on Vimeo because that's a whole nother story, whole nother video in and of itself. Uh, that should be done hopefully by the end of January. All the things, Reincarnates of Slime, Dr. Stone, Gurren Lagann, uh, Promise Neverland Season 1, all that stuff. So sorry for the long ramble. Let's get into this. Promise Neverland Season 2. I didn't even talk about Season 1. I did do a rewatch of Season 1 with some buddies actually who've never seen it. So that was kind of fun. So real quick, they think Norman's alive. I think Norman's dead. I could see how they think Norman's alive, but I think Norman's dead. Shout out my boy Norman. Big ass sacrifice. RIP. Made it. Made sure everything worked out properly. I'm excited. We ended off season one with the first morning. Let's hop into this. <laughs> season two, episode one. Promise Neverland. Is there a title for it that I could see? Let's see. Um, I don't see a title for it. Normally, it's all season one. It was just the dates, but I don't see a title. So let's do it. All right, so for a first episode, whereas a lot of first episodes of shows are to get you like reminded of what happened last season, you know, to get you up to speed, get you back, you know, in the end of the vibe of it, you know, like this one really didn't answer anything for me. This one really just kind of threw you out here, just kind of like Promise Neverland season one, just said, hey, here you go, fuck it. And so I'm so curious who this girl and Sonju are, of course. I am so curious the update because it definitely does not seem too far after the incident where they left. They're very st much still on their ass, on their tail. In the opening, it did seem like there was a time skip, which I cannot wait for. Oh my lord, I cannot wait for. 
if there's one thing I love in anime, it's time skips and titties. The double, you know, T. You can't go wrong with T's, you know? So, I'm so curious. I want an, an update on Isabella and Phil, especially with the other kids, especially after a time skip, because I know we have, what, minimum a year and a half to to train because that's how long until they're six which is the minimum age requirement to have at least decent quality meat to be shipped out which speaking of meat to be shipped out i want to know what the tafari is i want to know the big festival that they were talking about is where the, you know only the rich and the royalty are going to eat i want to know about the ecosystem i want to know about the world i'm so curious what this forest was the trees were so tall yet we had so much sea life in this and then what the fuck was that demon i genuinely thought this was earth just in the future this is obviously still in the future this takes place in 2045 2046 now but i don't even know if this is earth still this might be a completely different planet at this point you know i'm just so curious this the girl said you were able to escape that farm so even amongst the demons it's well known of obviously um definitely curious as to why they saved him i definitely am curious as, and, and william minerva as well because i thought he was someone who was looking out for these kids giving them subtle warnings that you know they're in danger but i didn't think there was going to be a pen that had a topographical map on it that was imbued in there like a hologram like that's insane you know that required a secret code to be deciphered from one of his non-morse code but like i'm like holy okay william i see you big dog you know what i'm saying just wasn't expecting any of that at all. I love the kids. I loved how we survived. I loved the two months training being put so much into work, not only in the escape, but how they can use it to escape in groups. How the books that we've read since we were kids were training us to survive in these woods. Like, see, that's what makes me curious, though. Is it like, because, like, let's say, I don't know a size reference in perspective because he said they're in b1 he's in b6 they're still in the in the quadrant b which means like i don't know if you're playing like h1z1 daisy any other ones like the, the it's gonna be letters you know are gonna be columns and then the rows are gonna be numbers so i wonder if he's just like going straight south i know we're heading southeast i'm curious about that only reason i say that is because like if he he has to be somewhat not too far because if he's super far away then it, it would be so hard to be able to give him accurate representations of the traps and the animals and the wildlife around them but if it's just within like a 50 mile radius somewhere around there you know like it could be a lot of forest for a long time and then get into desert and then get into plains you know could but like i'm just so curious on so many questions and on the world building the lore everything amongst those along those lines you know i just can't wait to go i can't out i cannot wait to dive deeper I just cannot wait. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. I'm going to leave it there. If you guys enjoyed, like I said, if you guys could just please leave a like. Doing redirects definitely hurts the channel, but I, I got to do what I got to do. I appreciate you guys so much. I'll see you guys later. Peace out, Apple Squad.